Hey guys, it's me Rahul back with another video. Today we are going to be checking out some new apps. So get ready to download them all. As always, you can download the wallpapers that you see on this video from the link in the description down below. So let's do this. We're going to be starting things off with a wallpaper app called Wallpaper. That's a clever name for a wallpaper app. So this one is also based on Unsplash.com. I love the pictures that are on Unsplash.com. Pretty much every single pic looks beautiful. The UI of this app is very simple to use and the dark UI just looks fantastic. I'm pretty sure that at least one of you watching this video have been in a situation where you want to play a video or open a file using a different application but you can't because you set the file to always open with a default application. So this app called Better Open With will help you deal with these things in a better way. Basically this app will automatically open the file with your preferred app after a small countdown that you can set. Within that countdown, you have the choice to open the file using any other app. This app is a bit old, but I think it is a useful app to have. The next step on the list is Astro. Its tagline is AI meets mail. Up to an extent, it is true. This app does have a digital stand and it is smart in organizing your emails. So it has this thing called priority inbox, which shows only the main emails. So basically mails accept subscriptions and ads and that sort of stuff. It is a really useful feature for those who get a lot of emails. It also has a ton of other cool stuff too, like the ability to snooze an email. You can schedule your emails. You will get notified when the recipient opens your email and there are a ton of other cool stuff too. I'm definitely gonna keep using this app. I highly recommend you guys to check it out. It is free. XDA is a website that I go to almost every single day. It is the place where Android enthusiasts like me find solutions and learn new cool things. There is a new app called XDA Feed and I really really like it. So it will show important posts on XDA regarding your device. One of the cool things is you will be the first to know when a new ROM or a theme comes out for your device. It also shows wallpaper posts so you can get some really amazing looking wallpaper. So that is a huge plus as well. Firefox Focus is a new app from Mozilla and it is a web browser. But it is kind of different from Mozilla Firefox. This one is a very slimmed down version of Firefox and it is aimed towards protecting your privacy while surfing the web. So this browser automatically disables web tracking and blocks ads and you can also clear your history, cookies and all that sort of stuff with a simple tap. I really like the browser, I might even use it as my secondary browser. Editing videos with just a smartphone is still not entirely possible because a lot of apps except Cyberlink don't offer good tools. Vismato is a new video draft for Android and it is bringing some new things. So the way you do editing with this app is different in how you add effects. So on the bottom you can see a couple of effects and if you want to apply any effect to a certain portion you need to enable the effect while the video is playing. So it is like this, first I'm gonna add a slow motion effect. Then I'm gonna add sick beats effect and so on. It's a really, really easy tool to edit small clips. I love reading facts and learning new interesting stuff. And this new app called InFact makes it so much easy and simple. It is a very interesting app which shows cool facts that you might don't know about. You can read through the facts by just swiping up and if you want to know more about any particular facts, uh, just swipe left. I like the whole swipe just a thingy. It is the best for these kind of apps. As an Android enthusiast, I could never have enough icon pack. Today I would like to show you an amazing icon pack called H2O. The icon looks so flat and looks great, I love it. The developer will add support for more apps pretty soon, so give it a try. Guys, I love programming. I don't know about you guys, but solving a problem with a simple code is the best feeling ever. If you want to learn how to code but don't know where to start, then you should definitely check out Pi. This app has some incredible courses on a couple of most essential program languages like C and C hash, Java, SQL, etc. The teaching process is set in a unique way that you answer questions and learn from it. It is pretty cool. You don't have to read through hundreds of pages of theory. I 100% recommend this app. I'm gonna be winding things off with a super budget pack called Alloy. First of all, this app has a huge collection of super budget skin. Every design looks unique. Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. And that's pretty much it. Goodbye. Good.
Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin